All right, thanks you guys if you're here. Um, I wanted to re review this book with you guys. Um, can't do it on Instagram, can you? So uh, let's get into it. I'm actually just gonna pull pages randomly. I think that's a little better. Whoa, one of my favorites actually. This one you wouldn't see on my ins you don't see on my Instagram. This one is by uh, Georgina. Yeah, this one's great. It's called World Receivers. Um, these three women are all from the north of Europe, Slovakian, um, all spiritualists. And some of some of Georgina's is more abstract, and so is Hilma's. Uh, and Emma Kuhn's is worked with pendulums. So let's begin. Um, I'll go over some of the picture. I'll go some over the paintings first, and then uh, we'll get into. And this is a, this is another great one. Her name is I think. Jan. Jan? It, they're all they're all very like northern names, but this one's this one's really great. I like that a lot. Um, and then it goes over you know, kind of their life story, and I'll read some passages that I really liked. Um, but let's just begin. Okay, this painting I really like. That one's a great one. Um, some of the smaller ones are like the best and then they have like um, letters that they had written um, introductory remarks um, this one's also beautiful they're all all really pretty they're all really pretty I mean look at that isn't that special I think that's special and then yeah, some of them get dar darker. Some of them have like like a lot of darker aspects to them. A lot of shadow. Um, some of them get really complex. Really complex. Like, so it's it completely abstract, these ones, by Georgina, but beautiful. And, and they have a letter from her to whoever Thomas is. Maybe her brother, maybe her friend, I'm not really sure. I kind of need a better camera. Um, let's see, let's get to Hilma. So that was Georgina's mostly, and I could go back on it, but um, Georgina did really interesting shit. <laughs> so, and she did black, she did black and white as well. So she'd do like two paintings, I'm pretty sure. Or no, 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 maybe it's just like the same print, just in black and white. She was, yeah, she was Slovakian. This one's really pretty too. This one's like, reminds me of the ocean maybe. Reminds me of the ocean. These are beautiful. This is a couple here. That's a couple. Which is really pretty. And then whatever's going on here, which kind of looks, I don't know, feminine, right? Um, I mean, I mean, all of these, I mean, I could go through this whole book, it would, but it would take, you know, it would take forever, but they're all really beautiful paintings. That's Helma. Um, a lot of them are very special to me. This one is iconic. This one's iconic. Um, these, it's, it's kind of like a representation of the yin and yang. It's two swans or one swan, a black, I don't know if, I guess black swan, white swan, yeah. 
representation of the yin and yang, which is really cool. This one's I like a lot. This one's darker. And there's a cross up there. And then another version of a pink one, which I really like. And there's an upside down cross too, which is fucking interesting. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, she was versatile. These are way more abstract, but this one's just, I don't know. Um, and then there's, oh, this one, of course. Yeah, I showed this one earlier. This is by Emma Coons, and this is my by far my favorite, I think. She used pendulums, um, which is, uh, I mean, you can't even see the detail, really, but, I mean, once you look closely, once you look closely, it's out of control. This one's really good. I've used this as, like, as, like, a profile picture before. But I really like that one. That one's really pretty. Man. Oh, uh, shout out to James Whitney. And this is 1966, so this is in the 60s. And I think, is this photography? Like, I don't know, like, it, it seems like photography to me. Like, he's taking pictures of lights, right? And then, whoa, 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 but these are even cooler. Or he must be, I mean, what's he up to? I don't even know. But this is at the end of the book, so it's like kind of like a shout out to him. And I really like them, actually. I actually really dig these a lot. And here's this one that I really like. Anyway, how far are we in? Seven minutes already. <clears throat> Harry Smith, they also shout out to. Yeah, he has a, he has one cool photo that I really like, or one cool uh, painting that I really liked as well. Um, I think that's about it. Harry Smith, whoever the fuck that is. But this is all 60s stuff. So all the three... All the three women here are from the 30s. But then they have some like psychedelic stuff going on at the end, which I like. Um, so I think I had something about Hilma. So they were all spiritualists and that can be represented in a lot of ways. <laughs> I mean, there's like a big like that encompasses a lot I think you know just the idea of being a spiritualist like what the fuck does that mean but um, she says it nicely I think Hilma although educated as an academic painter and active in profession after 1906 yeah so she was yeah so she was even before that A.F. Clint's distanced herself from the convention of her time and influenced by spiritualism and philosophy developing uh, a unique pictorial language that is often purely abstract. She symmetrically explored um, material contents of another higher world and captured these symbolic works resulting in far-reaching series with organic um, or geometric abstractions in usual combinations of color and form and so this this kind of seems to be the theme with all of them this kind of seems to be the theme with all three of these women so they compiled it obviously in one book world receivers and that's the image that every i mean this is a very popular image so yeah, this is a very special book. It's heavy, so I gotta carry it with me, you know? But it's a heavy one. I gotta keep this one in my backpack, I think. Um, yeah. 
What else? I think, I mean, like, I don't have a favorite. All three of them are just, like, fucking phenomenal. Like, all three of them just, like, banging out. Look, it's just, like, even, even the simplicity in some of them are some of my favorites, really. I mean, I could go, I, I, I think I've been through this book for a very long time, for, you know, like, I, I mark stuff. But um, I think Hilma's, like, Hilma's idea of what spiritualism is is something I agree with most or I um, I identify with mostly is her idea of it and uh, yeah they're just very special paintings 10 minutes in I think that's good right we'll leave it at 11 seconds but thanks guys for watching if you came love you guys bye 3, 2, 1